I wouldn't be here in here uh, if it wasn't someone that invited me and in, uh, my good friend Steve. Oh, great, thank you. you. Know, I'm kind of a private type of individual, as you maybe find out in the people you talk to. And uh, not because I feel I'm special, it's just this, you know, mm -hmm. I, I think that we all have that private part of us that we want to keep private. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, and yet, I can. I, can, I think that what has happened is that I, as I've gotten older and I um, get to meet people that seem interested in uh, subjects that they're interested in, in and, and my connection to it. You know, when you get into that area of uh, having to become part of a whole and you feel that there is some message that you are uh, responsible for. I knew my I knew my destination when I was 12 years old and I'm following in my destination. And I've never doubted that what I was my purpose was. Let me ask you this. You know where your spirit is? Do I know where yeah, my do, spirit is? Yeah, where is your spirit? My spirit is everywhere. Okay, where's your soul? It's in everything. For me. Mm -hmm. In everything. In you. Mm -hmm. In her. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's mm. in in me because then I'm not connected with anything. Then I'm. Mm. You then understand it's just a vehicle of thought. What? The, my my spirit. Yeah, and your soul. It's like a a time, time, that you have to have and understand that to connect to this, it takes a tremendous amount of uh, effort because you have to get rid of all the dis distractions. You know, it takes it because it's pure thought, see? You can't have anything interfere with it. The distractions are, uh, you know, this is why I thank God that people who, um, take the time for meditation and going up into a forest, you know, and this is what I found in the ocean. I was totally at peace. I could go out there and just watch it, you know, just watch it, just be out there, you know, spend hours, hours, and in very, um, you know, in what most people would think in dangerous situations, you know, I could just you sort of look at it and enjoy it, you know. If negative thinking can affect the water like this, then aggression in a lineup must not be good for the waves. Oh, absolutely. This is important because what this says to someone is that you disturb an area, and that area is going to be disturb you. Yeah. You know, and I've seen it. I used to go out to these areas and enjoy myself, and all of a sudden you get an aggressive person or two persons or whatever, you know, and they just disturb it. You know what I used to tell them? I said, look, do me a favor. Take your aggressiveness and go to shore. Don't disturb the tranquility of this area here. You notice I tried my best to keep away from, mm -hmm. because guess what? Which is more important? I feel what we've been talking about is more important than the other. I asked uh, my friend in San Francisco, this Russian uh, fallen, that's, he's quite interesting. I was, uh, I asked him this question, I said, Nikolai, I said, uh, 
you know, I'm curious. Uh, you know, I watch you. I listen to him talk to doctors and psychiatrists and teachers in psychotherapy and all that. And I said, you know, uh, what medium are you using? And he says, the medium is waves. Just like this, he said. No different. And the only uh, problem is that we have lost the ability uh, to become sensitized to the different mediums. And he says that the baby, the baby, is able to see our aura very clearly. And yet, we cannot see the baby's aura because we have lost that ability. We also lose our instinct. Oh yeah, we absolutely. I think no, we question. have it, but we question it. Yeah, we doubt it. Mm -hmm. We doubt it, and that is, you see how it's related all the way to the ocean? Can't you see it? Yeah. Do you mean to the ocean? Faith? Oh yeah, yeah, faith. Faith in what you're doing, and understanding that you are capable of healing, and when you have doubt, what happens? A short circuit appears. It stops the healing process. It's like the, the fear comes in, you said before. That's right. Doubt, hesitation, yeah. inaction. Yeah. So, um... It, you know, I, um... Hmm. No, there's, there's no, there's no doubt, doubt in my mind. We're, we're entering, we're entering into, uh... We're entering into a, a new era a new time and you're 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 playing your part you understand and you have to what you got to do is to try to keep it as simple as possible it fits into my belief that everything has a life so everything has a life got to have a shape and these shapes can change depending upon warm cold depth you follow Healing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you're the first ones that I've, you're the first ones I've ever had an in-depth conversation of this type. You're the first. Is that because uh, people don't why, why is that? Why? Yeah. Very simple. You're, you have come along in time. You are fitting into a time capsule. You have a destiny. And this destiny is bringing forth this information. Whether you know it or not. And I wonder where it's going to be going yeah, through it all, generations. It, it's all, well, it doesn't matter. I think that you have got to um, uh, bring this forward. You know, irregardless of how you do it, whether you do it through a movie, whether you do sound, you've got to do it. You're destined for this, both of you. I think... Um I think what we can imagine in our minds becomes our world. So seeing things like this helps me imagine. And, and when other people see that, and they start imagining in a different way, that becomes their world, and eventually the world changes. That's exactly right, and we're in that stage.